Hi guys, welcome. I saw people asking about soldering stations, which one to buy, so I thought I could do a short review on this one. I've been using this for six years, so I have enough experience, I guess. And this is the Erza Icon 1. Erza is German. The company was founded in Berlin more than 100 years ago. I just found out the name comes from Ernst Sachs. Maybe I will find a photo of him. Yes. Here's Ernst with his son. Lötkolben in German. Yeah, danke sehr. Hello, Ernst. Mehr Lötkolben. Danke. This video is not sponsored, by the way. This thing is an 80 watt model. It is enough in most cases. The icon 2 is 120 watts, if I remember well. Then we have another sticker here. Someone put it on in 2009 in the 20th month. Understandable. This holder is made of some kind of rubber. It doesn't have much weight, but enough. And this is good because heavier cables can pull down the whole thing from the table. We have the brass pad. Well, we tried to use this with the moist sponge, but the tips didn't like it. Okay, turn it on, check out how fast is it. Forty five degrees overshoot. I checked our general recommendations, which was too high. I think I use it around three hundred and thirty degrees Celsius usually. And we have a small bar here. If I blow on the tip, it will go up, hopefully. Yes, it did. And then check whether the cord can withstand the temperature. Yes, it does. Good. It also has a standby temperature. We can check this. This is 210 degrees Celsius. The standby time is four minutes. The tips are fastened with these plastic nuts or fasteners. It is warm, nearly hot, but I can change the tip instantly. Of course, I turn it on first. Here's the heating element. Tip has a hole in it and it's ready. The fastener has to be cleaned with IPA, which is isopropyl alcohol, not India Pale Ale, okay? If I have to complement this thing, I think that will be the tip. Look how worn it is, but it's working well. And we will for some time. I use one like this at work for six years and only two or three trips went broke so far. And I saw there around 15 to 20 hours a week, so these are good. And their price is around six or eight dollars. Sadly, you should buy this fastener for every tip because it won't come off after a year or two. It has 
an additional cost of eight dollars you have to click in the tip I watched the review shaming the tip meanwhile the guy didn't make it click you have to click the whole station is around five six hundred dollars maybe it is luxurious for home usage but the price returns very fast if you make money with this for hobbyists i think the nano or pico version is just enough for half of the price if we insist on erza but uh, don't insist on Erza, of course, there are many good manufacturers. If you had one like this in the same price range and you are satisfied with it, leave the brand and the model in the comments, plus maybe hours per week soldered, etc. Thanks for watching, I hope it helped.